The new AI model GPT-4O has just released from OpenAI, enabling quicker and smarter responses. One of the big focus points for OpenAI's latest release was voice integrations. In this video, I'm going to detail exactly how GPT-4O affects AI voice callers. GPT-4O is a model that sits between GPT-3.5 and, and GPT-4 Turbo. It's quicker and smarter than GPT-4 Turbo, yet slightly slower than GPT-3.5. It also costs less than GPT-4 Turbo, but just a bit more than GPT-3.5. This model is definitely a move in the right direction and will make AI phone callers far better. At the moment, we can expect a sort of one to two second delay on the low end when interacting with these AI voice systems. Here is a voice interaction with this new model by OpenAI. Hey ChatGPT, can you count from one to 10 for me, please? Of course. One, two, three. Hey, actually that's, um, that's a little slow. Could you count faster? Sure thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that was a little bit too fast. Can you like count somewhere in between those two? Got it. One, two, three. And four, now even slower, five. please. Okay. One, two, three. As you can see, this is super quick with accurate responses. However, only a portion of this system is actually GBD 4.0. I've gotten a lot of comments recently on how to get this level of speed and realism with GBD 4.0. But unfortunately, GBD 4.0 as of today is only a language model and not a voice model. Currently, AI phone callers use several different platforms to actually work. They first require a text transcriber to take your voice input and convert this into text. This text is then sent into the large language model, GBD 4.0, then sent to the voice provider like a level labs to then generate that realistic sounding voice. This audio is then played to the user over the phone using a platform like Twilio. Using so many different platforms before responding to a question can obviously cause a lot of delay. In the case of OpenAI, they have actually built all of these systems themselves to create a seamless and immediate response, which is what we just saw on that video. OpenAI's demo was also able to recognize emotions and tones of voice very well. I assume this is due to the voice input system directly communicating with the voice generator system instead of just transcribing what they had said into text and sending this off to another platform. Their system was able to take the audio directly to the large language model and include more than just text. Hey ChatGPT, how's it going? Hey there, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How about you? What's I'm, up? I'm doing fine. Uh, I'm going to be a father real soon uh, and I think I can have your help with some dad jokes. Um, I'm going to tell you a joke and you tell me if it passes as a dad joke. That's awesome. Congrats on the upcoming addition to your family. And absolutely, I'd love to hear your joke. Lay it on me. All right. What do you call a giant pile of kittens? I don't know. What? A mountain. <laughs> a mountain. That's perfectly hilarious. Definitely a top tier dad joke. So this is just a whole new level of realism that wasn't quite possible before. Unfortunately, this is not something that we can get access to as of now, but I'm almost certain that OpenAI will actually make their voice system available via API, which just means we'll be able to directly connect that system into any of the current AI phone caller platforms that you might be using. This would then only leave one connection required, which would be the phone provider like Twilio. So you can still get access to GBD 4.0 on a platform like vapi.ai. However, obviously this is not gonna be as quick as the demo that I showcased. Once OpenAI does release the API to get access to the voice enabled GBD 4.0, I have no doubt that every phone AI platform will go ahead and just seamlessly integrate this into their existing platform which will just allow you to swap the assistant over. So ultimately, this is really good news for this AI use case, as it's only a matter of time before this system is released. The demos showcased are really promising and completely eliminate the concerns that most business owners that have come through our agency have had for these systems. This single update is a huge leap forward in the AI cooler space. If you are a business owner contemplating integrating this system, now is the time to get started. We've helped several businesses integrate this exact same system and once the new model is released, we will be able to day one, upgrade their system to the new voice system. Most of the work that we do is the process of prompt engineering and getting the assistants to perform as accurate as possible and as reliable and consistent as possible. Swapping the model over is very easy to do. So we highly recommend getting your system built out now. And then once OpenAI releases this new voice system, we can swap it in immediately and you're ready to go day one. If you are interested in getting an AI voice system built out for your business, whether that's an inbound caller or an outbound caller, go ahead and book a call with my team below and we can discuss your project. I'd greatly appreciate if you go ahead and subscribe to this channel for more content like this 
and like the video if it helped you out.